Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the top 5 best beard oils. Starting at number 5. Sebastian Seb. Blandy, who told us he's a fan of getting the most for your money, also recommends this beard and hair oil from professional grooming products line Sebastian. It contains argan, jojoba, and grapeseed oils, and on top of moisturizing and adding a healthy sheen to your beard, it will also help define its shape. But its versatility doesn't stop there. Blandy adds that you can also use it in your hair for styling or added shine. So use it in your hair. For more information and latest price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. At number 4. Baxter of California. Baxter of California's beard oil, which has avocado oil in it, comes recommended by Badal and Shah. Badal says it is part of what he calls the next generation of beard oils, because, instead of argan or jojoba oils, its primary moisturizing ingredient is squalene a water-based moisturizer that penetrates and absorbs quickly into the skin. Shah also likes that it includes squalene in its formula of high-quality oils and antioxidants. Form Halfway of my listed number 3. Rick Ross. Pedro, a master barber at Clippers Barbershop in New Jersey who goes by the nickname Wolf of Broad Street, recommends this oil from extremely good beard haver Rick Ross, saying you can comb, brush, or pick it through your beard to distribute the product equally. This beard oil contains grapeseed and jojoba oils, and Shah, another fan, notes it also has linoleic acid, which he says is anti-inflammatory and especially helpful in beards of men of color, who are more prone to ingrown beard hairs. A good beard oil like this one that keeps inflammation to a minimum should help reduce the incidence of ingrown hairs. It also contains castor oil, which Shah says has antibacterial and antifungal properties, and stimulates prostaglandins, which aids in hair growth. Stimulates prostaglandins, which aids in hair growth. Stimulates Coming in at number 2. Honest Amish. This oil from Honest Amish Man, which has jojoba and argan oils in it, comes recommended by Luca Blandi of Oscar Blandi Salon who says it's versatile enough to handle all hair types and has a pleasing manly scent. It's also an oil that strategist writer David Nottis used when growing out his beard, he says it's really terrific adding if you're concerned about synthetics and preservatives, the stuff is just a blend of different organic oils, avocado, pumpkin seed, sweet almond, and argan. Pumpkin seed, sweet almond, and argan. And number 1. Grave before dot all of the beard oils or experts recommend, including this one, either contain jojoba oil, argan oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil or a combination of the four. According to Chad Badal of New York City-based grooming store Consiglieri, jojoba oil is closest to the oil in your skin and therefore doesn't clog your pores. Argan oil has high levels of vitamin E, omega-3 fatty acids, and antioxidants, making it an excellent anti-aging moisturizer and great for softening dry, damaged hair. Grapeseed oil, which is lighter than jojoba oil, is high in linoleic acid and thought to reduce clogged pores, so it's great for oily skin. And avocado oil is rich in oleic acid and monounsaturated fats, which help it to penetrate into the hair shaft. Grave Before Shave, which is formulated with jojoba oil, also contains tea tree oil, a common ingredient in dandruff shampoos, because it soothes skin while clearing clogged pores. Arthur Iskakov, master barber at Barber's Blueprint, beard care expert Matt Benevento, and Colorado-based plastic surgeon Dr. Manish Shah, all recommend it for its solid but simple list of ingredients. The oil also comes in a variety of scents, including bay rum, sandalwood, and pine, a feature Iskakov likes because there is a scent for every- For more information and latest price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below.